to travel now. Have you ever thought of tracing your family history? Well, I recently got the chance to work with Ireland.com to find my relatives in the beautiful county of Fermanagh. I travelled with our resident travel journalist, Debbie Griffiths, to the beautiful, beautiful Emerald Isle, Ireland. Take a look. Yes, County Fermanagh is one of Ireland's most inland regions, but it's also a wood lover's paradise. Magal Viewpoint offers a bird's eye view of the massive Twin Lakes. Upper Loch Urn and Lower Loch Urn cover one third of County Fermanagh. Drive back through Loch Navarre Forest, part of the largest continuous forest in Northern Ireland. It's, it is famous for its, its fishing, uh, beautiful castles and lovely hotels to stay in. And there's a lot to do, uh, a lot of water sports. And it's just, there's a history there as well with Enniskillen the, Castle. Enniskillen Castle as well. It's, it's, the town itself is steeped in history. Enniskillen is Ireland's only island town. It's been built over the years on a small hill that straddles the point where both lakes meet. The perfect place to get out on the water. OK, so tell me what we're going to see today. So today we're going to see Enniskillen Castle mm -hmm. and then we're going to walk on then to uh, Devonish Tower. Uh, it's a monastic site and we'll be able to yeah, see um, in the tower and uh, also uh, the old priory. I mean, Devonish Island is uh, quite a special island, uh, really, to us. So that's why I like, you know, bringing people down here and uh, seeing around. Uh, there's lots of nature as well. So as we're coming along, we can see the Great Crest of Grebe. Uh, you can hear the moorhens, the ducks, and uh, and so forth. So it is yeah, quite a special place. And the odd rare occasion, you can see the otters as well. Yeah. County Fermanagh's history may well include our own ancestors. Mel is here to trace her family connections. Lots of people at various times come to me looking for their ancestry and I do my best to help them because uh, uh, Fermanagh has a colossal history. Uh, it's, uh, it had a population uh, prior to the Great Famine of Ireland of 1845 to 50, it had a population of 160,000 and uh, over a 10 year period. We lost about 40,000 people who either died of disease or uh, uh, hunger uh, during that period. And uh, many of them, and in that time in Ireland, about one million people died and one million people emigrated. And we help people from all over the world that call in here by chance just, or contact us on the internet. We like to pride ourselves on our, our knowledge of genealogy and family history and families and family names. What we, what we try and do is we try and help them and steer them in the right direction. Frank and John managed to find not just records of Mel's ancestors, but also where wow. they're buried and a hand-drawn map of the graveyard. And it's not far away. I'm going to go around this way. So, oh no, the fence is there for a reason. It's probably bull in that paddock. I'm going to go around here. Over a fence, across a field, and there it is. An emotional end to a long journey around the world. What's this one? Wow. This one here. What would be nice if everyone could come over? I wish my dad was still alive. Yeah, this is my dad's side of the family and he would have loved it. And I wish my cousin Tim was still alive too. He would really like this too. <laughs> the two men that I really wanted to share it with, and they're not here. So the thousands of kilometres that we've travelled to get here, the 28 hours in the plane and then in a car to Northern Ireland has completely been worth it to, uh, to feel a real connection to a country that I'd never visited. And I didn't even know that I had Irish ancestry, but it's pretty special. You get serious satisfaction to help people to see the joy in their face, to see the tears in their eyes. To, to actually, and Johnny will know if you look at his face now, you'll see more people put their arms around you and give you a hug because of the fact that you've brought them back home. They're back home. That was really, really amazing. And Frank and John with such great help. So it was a real feeling of coming home. Um, Debbie and I definitely filled our hearts with Ireland. What an incredible trip. Now, we travelled courtesy of Ireland.com and Emirates. Emirates flies daily to Dublin, offering you a seamless one-stop journey while enjoying the airline's award-winning service. And it'll have you arriving like we did, the cafe crew, in perfect shape to enjoy... Actually, I went and met the... Uh, 
the Irish rugby team. I ran into them in the street two hours after landing. Uh, but you'll be fresh and ready to do what you need to do in the beautiful, beautiful country of Ireland.